For many of us, aside from the weekend spin, night riding is a necessity if you want to keep on rolling in the winter months when the clocks go back and the evenings get a whole lot darker. But night riding is also a whole heap of fun if you come prepared. So join us on this fine evening as we head on into the night on our bikes and give you all our favourite tips for carrying on riding into the dark. Ooh. I always like to wear sunglasses when I'm out riding. Obviously during the daytime I use shades, protects your eyes from the sun, but mainly I like to use sunglasses because of the bugs. I hate bugs going into my eyes and I also hate when my eyes are running on descents. So before the sun sets, I thought it would be worthwhile saying that investing in a decent pair of sunglasses is a good idea. Ideally, a set that has interchangeable lenses or potentially a photochromatic lens if you often ride from daylight into the dark. That way you can have the shaded lens and once the sun sets and it gets dark, then you have your clear lenses that help you see much better throughout the night. If you've been riding all day and you're gradually heading into the night, your eyes will adjust. But for someone who's maybe been in a well-lit office all day and then comes outside, it's going to feel pretty dark to them, but you might think it's still pretty light. The point is, be seen. You want to switch on your lights early before it even gets dark, before the sun even sets. I mean, there's no harm to turn in on your lights properly, so all road users can see you. Here she goes, turn them on. There we go. Be bright, be seen, be everything. Be what you want to be, but turn on your lights. If you're going to be riding in the dark, then you're going to need them. You're going to want a backlight and a front light at the bare minimum, but you could also get a light on your helmet to make you more visible to other road users from different angles as well. Yeah, and keep in mind that there's a difference between lights that you use to see with and lights that allow other road users to see you. Generally, the light that you use to see where you're going in real pitch darkness is going to be a lot more powerful, anything from 500 to 600 lumens and upwards. Lumens are essentially the quantity of light eliminated from a source. So, for example, if you're riding in sunset or low light, a less powerful light will be fine for other road users to see you. Of course, if you do invest in a more powerful light, then you can, of course, use it on a lower setting, which will save battery life, and then you can ramp it up when it gets pitch black so you can really see where you're going. If you use it on the blinking setting, it's worth bearing in mind that's actually illegal in Germany, Austria, Holland, and some states of the USA, so that's definitely something to keep in mind if you're riding there. If you're riding into the real night and the real darkness, you're going to want lights to see where you're going. But you want to make sure you have the right type for your style of riding. You could also consider side lights. So these are amber in colour and they allow visibility from the side, obviously, when you're at roundabouts and junctions, when you might not be covered by those front and back lights and just give you that extra bit of visibility to other road users. That's a very good idea that I haven't actually thought of before, Connor, so good point. You could also use spoke reflectors to go on your spokes, then when the car headlights reflect on your spokes, they'd be able to see you a lot better and, added bonus, it'll turn your bike into a Tron bike. While we're still on the topic of lights, it's always worth having a backup light just in case of emergencies. If your front one fails, your back one, then at least you've got something to provide yourself with some coverage because you don't want to be getting lost out on the lanes with nothing to see with. So keep one in your back pocket or maybe put a spare in your saddlebag. Don't get caught out by the temperature. In our experience of night rides here at GCN, it really is incredible how cold it gets once the sun sets. And it gets colder and colder until I think about 3 or 4 a.m. when it reaches peak peak coldness, yeah. if you could argue that. So always bring an extra layer with you if you are riding on into the night. Yeah, and also with those plunging temperatures, ice can start to form. So you need to be careful when choosing your route. Be careful and look out for black ice and those slippery conditions. You also want to think about your visibility when you're riding at night. So consider getting something that's reflective to wear on top of your clothes, just so that when other road users are coming towards you, their lights shine on you, you get that real proper visibility throughout the night. And if you wouldn't like to ride with something like this on top, then consider investing in a set of kit 
that has that reflective panelling built into the clothing. Can be a good idea to try and buddy up during the night. It's more sociable and a little bit safer too and can put you at ease if you are nervous about riding in the darkness for the first time perhaps. Also really good idea to plan your route in advance. Use something like Komoot to get your ride all mapped out so you know where you're going and you won't get lost. No one likes to end up in the wrong side of town at 1am in the morning. Definitely not. Mechanicals is another one you want to think about. Make sure you're prepared for that. Like in the day, you can just, you know, call someone for help, get a taxi, get a train. It's pretty easy to get out of a sticky situation, but in the night, when there's no one around to help you, not so easy. Yeah, I did call Hank at 3am, asking him to come and help me fix the puncture. He wasn't too happy about it. I'm surprised you even answered, to be fair. I'm surprised. Well, he's a bit of a night owl, our Hank. Is he? Wow. He is. Next up, take things a little easier. Don't go out in the night thinking that you can bomb it around like you do in the day. You're going to have some completely different obstacles to overcome. A great example of this is when Connor did the London to Holly Head documentary over on GCN Plus and it involved riding through the night and he had a rat run into his front wheel. Which you don't really get rats running into your front wheel in the daylight, but thankfully he held it up. It wasn't a pretty sight for the rat. Or Connor, but um, yeah, just watch the rats and other things that might pop out of you at night. And the monsters. I'm quite scared. I'm not sure this night ride is for me. If you are new to night riding, then you might want to consider your route. Riding in a well lit area like a city or a town is really going to be good. It's going to give off a lot of light and it can make you feel a lot safer. Plus, at night, the roads are going to be a lot quieter. We haven't got that city rush. If you're heading out on an overcast night down country lanes, then it is really pitch black. On these occasions, lights that you use to be seen by other road users just won't cut it. You need a really powerful, strong light that you can use to see where you're going and see a good distance down the road too, so you know what's coming up. And if you hit higher speeds, you can still see any obstacles on your route. So there you go, a few tips to help you keep on riding on into the night. Let us know in the comment section down below though, where you ride at night and why. Yeah, and if you did enjoy this video, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Do you anything about night riding that I don't like, Connor? What's that? No cafes open. Well, the, the, the alternative is a bar. But yeah. I, don't I don't think that's quite a good idea. Or maybe like, you know, after going out at night in a nightclub, you go, you go and get like cheesy <laughs> chips. Cheesy chips, yeah. that, is the, that is a good point. Okay, Instead of coffee and cake, you can have cheesy chips. Right, let's do it. Although, see you later, everyone. In the middle of nowhere, I don't think there's any cheesy chips around here. <laughs>